What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kelly. For those that are new, and today we're going to talk about why you don't need expensive gear to make expensive sounding music or good music or high quality music. And I can't stress this enough. You do not need expensive gear to make good music. You just don't need it. And I got proof and I'm going to show you guys. Now, when I first started making music, I figured if I went to the, the best studios, I, I would sound so good. If I just went to like that hundred thousand dollar studio i would sound amazing and i would make the best music unfortunately i didn't really have the money to do so and i had to go buy my own usb microphone and start recording in my bedroom professional studios can be pretty pricey and go from like a hundred dollars an hour to like five hundred dollars a mix so it can be pretty expensive going to a studio to record your music well fast forward 10 years later and i've learned a lot I know how to mix music now. I have some of the best equipment that you can buy. For an example, that mic, that microphone costs $4,000, but it's not necessary. I got everything you could possibly want in a studio, almost my dream studio. I got everything I need. I don't plan on buying equipment for a while, but I've learned after purchasing all this and making music for 10 years that you do not need expensive gear to make good music. What you need to be good at is performing and mixing. You need a good performance and you need a good mix. You could literally get a good mix and a good sounding song off something like this. It's a USB mic, like 30 bucks and make this sound good. Look, here's some proof. I'll show you. Here's a video of me recording on this. Never gon' change, never gon' switch, never gon' miss, my shots gon' switch I took my risk and invest my change, I took that loss and invest that pain I stuck that shift and I took that hit, I lost that chain, never lost those days Life ain't bliss, but I love the game, level up, level up, level up I'm just tryna ball out, I'm just tryna ball out Tunnel vision like I'm cold, that's all back, I got it it all comes down to your mixing. You don't need one of those to make good music. I just wanted that microphone for a very long time and I wanted a dope studio because this is what I do for a living. I'll have this thing forever and now I have no excuse for my mixes to sound bad because I have some of the best equipment. And this is also really good for studio time. People see that mic and they want to record at your studio. So it helps make sales. And technically it's a business expense. So I got to write the microphone off anyways. So. That's good. So for the last few years, if you've been around on this channel for a bit, you would know that I've been doing microphone reviews and a lot of microphone comparisons, mostly on affordable microphones, a lot of them being USB microphones. And some of these USB microphones cost less than $50. And I've been able to make these microphones sound amazing. You would never know it's a $50 USB microphone. It all comes down to your performance and your mixing. And for an example, here is a review that me and my friend Horizon Wake did couple years ago on the Blue Yeti USB microphone. This microphone cost $90 on Amazon. I'll be smoking on a tree Crazy, right? Here's another one. This is on the blue snowball. This might cost forty dollars, I think, right now. And just for the hell of it, here is a recording that I did on my phone. This this was all recorded on this cell phone. 
I be on a wave and I can never slow up Money on my mind, I just want more bucks I don't got no time, I cannot hold up I be on a wave, I cannot slow up I cannot move, get up by the way Feeling like I'm Luda, we out here every day I can never switch and I can never sway Money on my mind, no I cannot be hate This is all I know, I just want more I can never quit, no I can never slow I can never slow up, I can never slow up We be on a wave, no we can never slow up I be on a wave I can never, never slow up never slow Money up. on my mind, I just want more bucks I don't got no time, I cannot hold up I'll be on the wave, I cannot slow up I cannot you do not need expensive gear, as you guys can see. It's all in your mixing. Just get yourself something you can afford, like the AT2020 is a good microphone, the AT4040 is a good microphone, the Rode NT1 is a good microphone. These aren't the most expensive microphones in the world, but they're also not the cheapest. They're just some decent mid-level microphones, but they're good enough. I will leave links down below to the microphones and also links to the reviews I did on these microphones. If you scroll down on my channel, you will see I have tons of microphone reviews, but I'll leave those ones in the description. Also, you wanna get yourself a pair of studio monitors, some studio monitors, some studio monitors, not just some regular speakers. You want studio monitors. There's a difference. Studio monitors aren't just speakers. They don't lie to you. Regular speakers like car speakers or your home theater system or just regular computer speakers, they're meant to enhance the audio, make the audio sound better. Studio monitors are meant to give you the exact sound of the audio. They're not enhancing nothing. You want an accurate sound of the mix when you're mixing your vocals. You don't want to be fixing sounds that are not there. You want an accurate sound and that's what studio monitors will give to you. Also, maybe get some acoustic foam you can put around your room for it's not too echoey or reverby. It's not too expensive. I'll leave some links down below, but it can really help control the echo and the reverb in your room. If you guys are recording vocals in a room that's echoey and you go to mix it, you're going to get this boxy sound because all the effects that you add to your vocals, compression, EQ, whatever it is, are also going to amplify any of the sounds that you have in your room. So if your room is echoey, it's gonna get compressed in with your vocals and it's gonna be even more transparent in your mix and give you like a weird boxy sound. It's <laughs> the best way I can explain it. Also, when you mix your music and the sound is coming out of your monitors, if your room is echoey, it's gonna create more of an echoey sound in your room and then you're gonna be mixing and adjusting levels that aren't really there. So that acoustic foam is not gonna soundproof your room but it will help control the reverb in your room. And you don't wanna record in a reverby room. Trust me, don't do that. So once you got your affordable setup, focus on your mixing. So watch mad mixing tutorials. I have a few on my YouTube, but there's several, there's tons online from other creators as well. Just start adding random effects to your mix. Just start playing with the knobs. Experiment, this is what I did when I first started mixing. I would just freestyle some random stuff and sit there for hours adding effects, removing effects, not even knowing what the effects are, but just playing with different effects until it sounds good. You can go find a professional song, like a Drake song and use that as a reference. Find something similar to what you're making and use their song as a reference song and just compare your mix to their mix and just try to get your mix as close as possible to their mix. And you could also grab some vocal presets at It's Kelly dot com get your vocal presets today now at the moment i only have adobe audition vocal presets so if you're not an adobe audition user then they're not going to work for you but there's other people out there that sell vocal presets for all sorts of recording programs so whatever recording program you're using you can go find a vocal preset for and using a vocal preset is a really good way to get started on your mix even t-pain used to record with a terrible ghetto setup and he still made hit songs with cheap gear. T-Pain made Bartender on this setup. Billie Eilish recorded Ocean Eyes on the Audio-Technica AT2020, which is like a $100 microphone. Again, at the end of the day, it's all in your mix and your performance. I've heard songs people recorded on $16,000 microphones and they sucked because they didn't know what they were doing with the microphone. I've achieved better mixes on a $50 USB mic. The gear is not gonna save you. It's not the hammer, it's the carpenter. It's a, it's a great quote. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm and I appreciate it. Drop a comment down below. What microphone do you guys use? What gear do you guys use? What's your opinion? Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. 
and I'll see you soon with another video. Peace.